did you at any stage see or hear that I or my colleagues who worked at the Weekly Mail were agents of Stratcom? I'm talking now logically. You can't work for Stratcom and expose their operation. That's simple logic. I'm not, I'm not cleansing you because I, I, I don't have answers to the actual <coughs> questions you are asking. I'm disappointed because I was just hoping that for the first time in my life, I would know who my handler was. For the first time in my life, I would know myself and that I would know my code name. Well, I'll have to go to court to find that out. I am going to the High Court to apply to have um, the intelligence services in this country take those files, give them to the judge, and then make them publicly available so that we can set this whole nonsense to bed once and for all. And so that other people can do likewise or perhaps emulate this way of approaching it. Because most people normally hunker down, they feel scared, they cry, they feel ruined by allegations of spying. Um, I'm not that kind of person. I wasn't ever going to hide. And I, I felt that to, to come out and to actually um, confront the issues, ask the intelligence services to set the record straight. I was never a spy. I was never going to be a spy. I would rather have died than have been a spy. But the implications themselves, what have they made you feel like? You know, Anton Harvard spoke about how dangerous these implications are. How these did you personally feel? implications are dangerous, not just for the individuals concerned, but for society. To kill the messenger is the beginning. It's the harbinger of trouble for a society. What guts me more than um, clearing myself is this loss of belief in one of the greatest professions of modernity.